So you saw this? Your emotions first, right? This, uh, emotions? Passions. Passions. Desires. Desires. Memories. Aspirations, somebody said. Perspirations. No, no, no. Personality. Personality. Anything else? Intentions. Intentions, yeah. And so forth, right? So that's your soul. So when you have a child, you're interrelating with the child soul to soul. So that's the first thing to understand. Many of us try to interact, inter, interact with our children from our mind to their mind. But that is actually not the way they are used to interacting. Straight away, they, from the time they are conceived, they are interacting with you soul to soul. So we both have a spirit body, both have a material body, but if you use your mind, you are skipping over all this soul stuff. So that's a very important thing to understand with regard to relating with your children. Does that make sense? Okay. And the second important point would be that when our children incarnate, that their soul is pristine and doesn't have any um, injuries or damage as yet. But from the moment of incarnation, or well, just after conception, then the child is like a sponge for everything around it and it's immediately feeling all of the emotions within its environment. Yeah. So, so the key thing for you to bear, bear in mind when we're talking about this discussion, we're going to be trying to focus you back onto what your emotions are every time. Not on what you're thinking they are, but rather what they actually are. Because your children are the best reflectors back at you as to what your emotions actually are. And that's one very, very important point that you'll be carrying away with you today. And one thing I'd like to mention, though, is that we'll make a lot of comments about parenting during the, during the day. And because many of you have been parents, many of you are going to start to feel quite judged. Right? Where you feel like, wow, you know, didn't know that, didn't know that, didn't know that. And after a while, the amount of things that you don't know piles up. And then you start getting down on yourself. And what we'd like to try to do is encourage you not to do that, not to get down on yourself, just to have an open mind about it and also open with your feelings. So if you feel sad about something you haven't done that you realise now you should have done, just let yourself have a cry about it, right? Or just let yourself connect with your emotions about it. So you might actually be connecting with some law of compensation issues and rather than going straight into the judgement about, oh, I did it wrong, I did it wrong, just allow yourself to actually feel those emotions related to that. Yeah, a lot of times what will happen too is that you have this feeling of anger maybe towards us, saying, uh, you know, how dare they say that, that can't be right, you know, those kind of things. Remember, every time you're in anger, it's because there's an emotion underneath the anger. So allow yourself to get into that emotion rather than staying in the anger-based emotion. It's very important to allow yourself to step down. Remember, on the natural love path, you may be very, very tempted to actually change your actions without changing your emotions. So you might hear some of this material today and then feel like you need to just change your actions and start trying to change your actions. And if you do it that way, I can guarantee you it will not work. The reason why is because every interaction you're having with your child is soul to soul. So the only way that things are really going to change in your interactions with your children are if something changes inside of your own soul. Does that make sense to everyone? It's very important to understand that. <laughs>